Today I'm here with lawyer Ali Yakubovich, who has over 10 years experience in the residential real estate field. Thank you for being with us here today, Ali. That's a pleasure, John. So most people don't understand the process after their home has been sold or a buyer has purchased their home and it needs to be closed at the lawyer's office. Now, can you walk us through those steps? Once, let's start with our sellers. Once they've sold their home firm and it's been sent over to you, what are those next steps to get it closed? Well, sure, John, that's a great question and we'll try to demystify this whole process. Now, if I'm acting for a seller, the most important thing my seller wants is to get paid. Yeah. Prior to that happening though, there's a number of items that have to occur, such as ensuring that what you have agreed to sell is free and clear. So we have to ensure title is cleaned up and we'll receive what's called a requisition letter from the lawyer acting for the buyer. We'll take a look at that requisition letter and we'll clear up title to the best of our ability. Any items on title for example, your mortgage, they got to be paid out. We'll write to the bank, get a payout statement, make sure that we know and understand exactly what fees are coming out prior to closing. On the closing date or just prior, you'll come to my office, sign some documents, and then on the day of closing, you'll come to my office to pick up a nice certified check. Well, that's very helpful. I'm sure I'll appreciate that. Now let's talk about our buyers now. Now they've purchased their home, they want to know how do they close that home and make sure that it is now theirs? Well, that's another great question and it's a little bit different when you're acting for a purchaser. What we'll do as the lawyer, the first thing we'll do is search title. We want to make sure that what you're buying is free and clear. We'll search title and we'll arrange for that requisition letter to be sent to the other lawyer to have all those items such as liens, encumbrances or restrictive covenants removed prior to the closing date. That's quite important if you're buying something not to have anything attached to it with no baggage. Right. The second thing we'll do is we'll ensure that the land transfer tax is properly calculated and any rebate is applied. You'll need to know as a purchaser how much money you need to come up, up with prior to closing. As the lawyer for the purchaser, we also act for the bank who's advancing the mortgage funds. We'll take care of all that paperwork, have the funds delivered to our office in plenty of time to send to the other lawyer on the closing date. Once all that occurs, you come to my office to pick up the keys. Wow, that's very helpful. Now, if you need to reach me for any of your real estate needs, you can call me at 905-522-3300. If you need to reach Ellie for any of your personal lawyer needs, you can call him at 905-523-1442. Thank you for listening, and I hope this helped. Thank you, John.